error. Hmm. Hmm. So just some real time troubleshooting here. I ended up finding a bad riser. Anything that I put in the X16 slot on this board would not work. And I got an odd CPU error that I've never seen before. Error installing hive miners. Hmm. Hey, what is up Raptors? Welcome back to the Hash Raptor YouTube channel. Hey, if you're new around here, be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Today we are continuing our 5X RX 470 rig build. And unfortunately, I was hoping that this would all be about optimization, rocking and rolling, all the good fun stuff. But we ran into a bunch of issues during this segment of the build today. And instead of just letting this all hit the editing room floor like I might often do, I figured, hey, you know, everybody runs into problems and maybe you've seen a few of these errors, a few of these issues, or maybe you can point out something that I did wrong here. Uh, and if so, you know, I figure it's <laughs> a good idea to share that with the community. Again, maybe it'll help somebody else out in the future. So. Watch along with me today as we try to work through some of these issues. And please guys, if you have seen some of these errors before, really some of these I have never seen before, uh, leave a comment below. I would really appreciate it and somebody else might as well. Okay guys, let's jump right in. Okay guys, so I wanted to share with you where I am right now. I've got my new five AMD cards on here. I haven't fired anything up yet. I haven't tested anything. We're gonna do that here in a moment. I also have two of my Red Devil 580 AMD cards that I threw on the end here. We'll test that after we get the rig up and running and maybe get those cards added here as well. But we're going to focus on these five RX 478 gigabyte cards. Yeah, so I've got everything mounted. I've got the risers in and yeah, so I got everything mounted the way I wanted. There's tons of room in this VETA case. Maybe a little too much room. I'm slightly worried about that because it supports up to eight cards. Folks have told me that you can do 12 on here. And if I used maybe some zip ties or something like that, I can get these a little closer. But I guess my concern is, is that if I try to densify the mining shed, I'm not sure if this is the best route. It might be, but I'm just not sure that it's the best route to densify because Look at all this extra space I have down here, which is awesome when you're building. It's great if you've just got a couple rigs, but I just don't know when we start building out the shed if this is the best use of space for densifying. Another video, that's another time, for this rig, we're repurposing it and we've got these GPUs mounted. We've got our power supplies in. Now, just a quick reminder on that, on 110 volt electric, these HP server power supplies don't usually allow for 1200 watts. They max out at about 900. So you wanna double check your wattage capabilities. And then whatever that is, you only wanna use 80% of that. So I'm gonna test this and get it up and running on 110 here in the studio. But then when it gets moved out to the staging ground in the garage or then out into the mining shed, all of that's 220. I actually have a 110 circuit out in the shed for testing as well and other convenience outlets, but, um, but this will eventually be all on 220. So what do I have to do next? I've got everything physically connected, kind of laid out the way I think that I want it. From a power standpoint, at this point, I only have one card connected via power and only one riser in the motherboard. And the reason for that is that I am about to power up for the very first time. And I have to do a couple things here. I need to check the BIOS on this motherboard and update to the latest BIOS. I need to make a few power consumption changes in the BIOS itself, turning off the parallel port, turning off any, anything that we don't need in there to save a little bit of power here and there. Most importantly, we're gonna make sure the thing boots for the first time. And then I've got to BIOS mod these. And then once I get that done, at least with the first card and the rig is up and running stable, I'm gonna go through and start adding these additional cards. And I wanna get the first five cards stable and then we'll consider messing with these two 580s here on the end. Gotta do the BIOS update on the motherboard 
and then the BIOS mod on the cards, and we will go from there. Okay, here we go. All right, so first up, we're gonna get power plugged in before we power this thing on, and I just wanted to show you guys, this is the new surge protector that I got that also has the kilowatt built into it, and I've got probably four or five solutions that accomplish this in different ways, but one of the things I wanted was to have a kilowatt where I could plug in multiple cords to it and get a reading. So if I'm gonna have two power supplies running, I wanna be able to plug in both those here and not have to use two separate kilowatts and add it together and that sort of thing. This is my kind of all-in power consumption monitor here. So we're just updating the BIOS first before we do anything else. I should note on this system, I actually didn't have a power button here, so I had to jump it to get it started. So one of the first things I'll do once I get the new BIOS loaded is go in and set this to start on power detection. That way I can just use the power switch on the ATX power supply to power the rig on and off. Save me a few bucks on a power switch. Let's go into advanced mode. Okay, so we set our DMI max link speed, restore AC power loss. We change that to power on after power loss so we can use our power switch on the ATX power supply. HD audio controller, we disabled that, and we don't need audio. Serial port one, disabled, we don't need that either. Error. Hmm. All right, let's try Gen 2. All right, we set the primary display to CPU graphics, link speed set to Gen 2. Hmm. All right, let's power off and check all of our connections. Hey guys, I ended up finding a bad riser as I was going through this. So I just recommend when you're making a build like this, connect one GPU at a time. But it just helps with troubleshooting so that if you run into a bad part, you can start breaking down what's what pretty quickly. I found it on the very first GPU, I had a bad riser. But now we are up and running, so let's get network connectivity, plug in our OS, and get booted. Okay, so the board's recognizing all the GPUs. We've got everything set to Gen 1, and it's working with these 470s. We're gonna do one last power on test, and then get started with Hive OS. All right, flip the switch on the ATX power supply. We just wanna see all five cards recognized by the motherboard. There we go, all green lights. Okay, this is our first OS boot here into Hive. Good, still detecting all our GPUs. Okay, it looks like we're booting up pretty good here, so I'm gonna switch over to the PC and let's take a look at the web interface and see what's going on. Okay guys, it's the little things. It's the little things in life, you know? So I just launched the web interface and our AMD rig is up. Now I've got to set a flight sheet so that we can get this bad boy mining, but it's the little things, little things. Lots could be going wrong. When everything goes well, you gotta celebrate. Error installing Hive miners. Hmm. Go ahead and update and see if that doesn't fix it after a reboot. Unable to locate package Hive miners. Okay, let's see what happens after the update here. All right, so check this out. I've got the rig powered down at the moment and the server power supply that's plugged in, while it's powered down, the risers are powered on on all five of these cards. And we are at 93.7 watts. And if you divide that by five, it comes out to something like 18 watts per riser. Now, I don't know if that stays that way while it's mining. I don't know how it fluctuates. I've always kind of wondered that. Um, you can back into some of those calculations. I may just put a power supply on just the risers in the future. That would be interesting to see how that turns out. But I just wanted you to see this with it powered off and the risers powering on. They come out to about 18 watts each. All right, let's keep going. Okay guys, so just some real-time troubleshooting here. <laughs> Hopefully you can hear me okay over these fans, which are just whirring away on these 470s. 
but I've got all five of them up. I've got all five of them mining. We haven't done a BIOS mod yet and we haven't done any optimization with the overclocks. So I need to power these guys down here in just a minute before they overwork themselves. But I wanted to show you a couple things. And by the way, a shout out to Boris and Discord for hanging out with me as I've been walking through troubleshooting all of this and just providing some good suggestions. Two minds are always better than one. But let me show you real quick out of the gate where we are. So, we're at 6.8 amps and 789 watts. And if I subtract roughly about 40 watts for the motherboard processor, that puts each card, but somewhere around 140 watts we've got running here. Now, also, let me say this real quick. I did have some issues here. So if any of you guys attempt a, a build like this or if you're just troubleshooting along the way and you wanna see what other people have run into, I actually, at the very beginning, had a bad riser here. I may have mentioned that already. And that slowed me down. And then I also, I'm still, I haven't gotten to the bottom of this, but um, anything that I put in the X16 slot on this board would not work. So I had to backpedal and go back, remove all the cards and start adding them back one port at a time on top of having a bad riser, which just confuses things. And once I figured out that when I plugged into that X16 port, uh, the rig would not show on Hive, I skipped that and went to the next two ports over here. And then everything is now showing in Hive and running in Hive. So I still need to troubleshoot that. And I got an odd CPU error that I've never seen before in Hive saying that CPU one was busy. And I probably won't chase that down unless it recreates itself somewhere along the way. So for now, I'm gonna keep an eye out on this part because we probably wanna get this thing working if we're gonna add some more GPUs to this X16 slot. But for now, everything's mining. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do the BIOS mod and see what the difference is in hash rate. So let's take a quick look at our hash rate that we're getting right now. In Hive, you can see that all of the 470s are up and mining, and we're at about 23 mega hash on each of these. Now I'm using Claymore 15. I haven't tested Phoenix yet. That puts us at about 115 mega hash on this five card rig. The efficiency isn't good at all. So we're gonna work on the BIOS mod the overclocking and see how much we can tweak this thing. Time to make this sucker more efficient. Okay, Raptors, I think I'm gonna call it a day there. This has been a long day of troubleshooting and trying to work through issues. And right now I'm just really happy that I've got a stable rig. Even though we don't have anything optimized, we don't have any overclocking, undervolting, none of that stuff done yet. We'll get to that tomorrow, but I'm happy we've just got this thing up and stable. Be sure to watch again tomorrow as we try to get this thing finished off. And as always, be sure to leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care, Raptors. Bye-bye. Yeah.